Well, so we, we have been trying all kinds of different methods for uh, removing uh, a rhino lining style substance from, from a vehicle. I went through numerous uh, trial and error methods and, and stumbled on a, an old house trick that I uh, used to use. Uh, this is the product. This is gold when trying to remove uh, apparently uh, paints and uh, rhino lining from vehicles. Hey everybody, there's Paul. He's the one that's actually uh, stripping the, what is it, Rhino Liner? Uh, you know, it's some variation of Rhino Liner. I don't know yeah. if that's the exact product, but it's the uh, same effects. Uh, yeah. Really nasty on cars. Kind of like the latest craze today is a lot of the guys like to undercoat the cars with Rhino Liner and stuff. It's a very good protectant and everything, but when you're going back to a, a real authentic restoration process that we're going through with this particular car, it's nice to have a product that actually is non-toxic, uh, what, it's environmentally safe. Yeah. And uh, you can get this at? Well, I picked that up at the uh, local Ace Hardware. I suspect uh, any other home improvement store probably carries it. Uh, uh, relatively inexpensive uh, as compared to some of the other high-end uh, aircraft paint strippers, things like that, which uh, I have tried as well. And this works 10 times better than that does. So uh, uh, when I used aircraft paint stripper to try to do this process, uh, there was a lot of scraping involved uh, with this particular product. Uh, I haven't scraped once, and what I, well, not exactly true. The stuff I have scraped has been with a plastic scraper and not a metal one. It comes up, I can peel it off with my hands for the most part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera on Paul, and then he'll uh, do a little bit of demonstration on this particular product. Pretty slick. Ace Hardware is probably where you can get it. Interesting thing I'd like to note for everybody here is that uh, our paint rep was like, your guys are kind of doomed. You're going to have to sandblast this. We're going to try paint stripper and all that. And this stuff, just lay it down, walk away, come back another day. Bam. Let's show you how it's done. Quick and dirty is to essentially brush this on like you would any other paint stripper. Uh, you apply it to the vehicle. You brush in one direction. Don't brush back and forth. Just apply it, brush in one direction. And the trick is, once you do that, for best effects, go ahead and lay a plastic uh, sheet over that product and leave it there for about uh, 24 hours. It's gonna work whether you do that or not, but it, it appears to work better. The, the final process is uh, minimal scraping. I can essentially peel this right off of the, uh, the vehicle. Getting ready to start, we're uh, spreading the Citric uh, sh strip onto the, uh, on the vehicle's trunk area with the uh, rhino lining that we want to remove. I've already kind of prepped out the area just a little bit. Um, as far as the application, standard paint stripper style application, you're going to brush it on liberal amounts. And uh, with those liberal amounts, your brush strokes all in the same direction. Don't get this stuff on anything you don't want peeling off. So basically, once it turns white, 
you already know that it's done its job, correct? Yeah, and you essentially, I mean, you'll see it bubbled up from the uh, from the surface. So there's, you know, it, it, air gets under there. Um, uh, the longer I think it marinates, like when I put the plastic over it, this side I did not put plastic over, and it's coming off a little bit more difficult. So again, the trick is, when you lay this stuff down, just take a, a sheet of plastic or a big trash bag or whatever, put it over top of it, let it stew for, you know, I don't know, I did 24 hours. As you see, this stuff just peeled off with my hands. I'll come back and I'll look at the, uh, the stuff that I didn't get a good coating on and I'll, I'll reapply it as necessary, but uh, minimal effort. Great, great product. Again, this is just a plastic scraper, so no metal gouges or anything like that. Just a nice stiff uh, plastic scraper. Certainly wear gloves, um, even though it is a environmentally friendly. Uh, if you get this stuff on your hands for any length of time, it has a tendency to start itching and disturbing you. Does it say the instructions uh, for application? Do you, ha I mean, minus wearing gloves, do you really need a respirator? Because it doesn't smell like anything. No, I mean, I, I you know, I, I that's a, a foul on my part because I, I didn't uh, go thoroughly into that. Um, I suspect, like any other substance, you want to try to avoid enclosed spaces for any length yeah. of time uh, and certainly listen to your body, but... Uh, uh, right now, I'm scraping it off. Uh, they don't smell anything. No, it's it's a it's a citrusy tile, or, uh, you know, uh, hence the name citrus strip. Um, so I think it's a cit uh, citrus based uh, acidic uh, chemical that's very very nice. Water. What I love about it, it don't burn your hands like paint stripper. And paint stripper, you have to wear PPE if you get it anywhere. It just starts immediately burning. This stuff is just wow. What do you think, Kevin? So most of this just came off uh, by peeling it by hand. This is just a plastic scraper. I'm, I'm using it uh, on areas where it didn't, you know, I didn't get full coverage. But uh, all this stuff was just pulled off by hand. I just pulled off sheets of it. Beautiful. Looks like when you cover it, it works a lot better, though. Exactly. That's the key. So this was my test side that wasn't covered. This was covered. This stuff just peeled off by hand. This, I'm going to definitely have to redo a coat, but uh, um, yeah, uh, definitely a lot of time saved. Beautiful. Yeah, man. Man, you can use a plastic spray, but that's the way we're going to do the bottom of it. We're going to just... Telling me we weren't going to be able to do the bottom in a couple days. I think that we cover that stuff <laughs> up and brush it. I I'll tell you what, I ain't doing another curl like I did the trans end. I hear you. Not with that stuff. This is a first for us, and I'll tell you what, for anybody in auto body, uh, who knew? I thought you were Yeah, I don't know what? Hey. Well, that's, uh, that's in a nutshell. So you guys got the gist? Put this stuff down, it's magic. Um, just be careful uh, using it. Don't want to injure yourself. But this stuff, you just lay it down. Uh, limits the amount of scraping you're going to have to do in the long run. This is going to cut, I mean, easily. It's, it's about 10 times quicker. And, that, and I think that's an exaggeration. Or not a, an exaggeration. I'm, I'm, I'm being too uh, conservative with those numbers. So good luck with your uh, project.